hope everybody's having a great weekend, and I'm happy to announce that the signals have arrived from Ohio. So here's the doghouse, and here's the normal three section. Well, it's not exactly normal, it's a very special signal. I have them temporarily wired up. You can see the cords right here. They're temporarily wired up to be on green only. And I'll show you the inside. Don't mind the signs right there, but here's the inside of the doghouse signal. As you can see, it's a bit corroded. And I will be most likely cleaning these out and restoring these signals. Here's my wiring right there. Here's the inside of the red section on the three section signal. And uh, as you can tell, it's pretty dirty. I need to clean that out. There's my wiring, my temporary wiring. And as I said, they're both wired. I just turned it off, but they're both wired to be green the whole time when they're plugged in. But um, most of the sections in the signal, the other two sections look the same as this. It's just dirty some dead bugs and uh, yeah I'd also like to say a uh, shout out to Sebastian 0113 um, because he posted YouTube videos of a place called Love's Pawn Shop in Columbus Ohio and thanks to him I uh, was learned about this place and I got these two signals from there and I got both of these two for $200 so uh, Sorry, if you guys are thinking of going to that place, I will include the link to um, that place on Google Maps in the description. And I would say to start saving up money if, they don't, if you don't have it already, because I say it's worth it. Although these signals are beat up, they're off the street condition, so they function. They didn't mess with these. As you can tell, there's the bracket. Also, there's the bracket for the signal. But there's powder coat falling off these, they're chipping. So these are good for refurbishing if you're looking into a project like that. But I'd say that it's worth it. These signals are pretty cool. This signal right here, I'm told um, it's from a, an area near uh, Columbus called Easton. Uh, where all the signal, the poles, and the backs of the signals and stuff are blue, or at least most of the signals. You can see here the front is yellow, but the back is blue. This one had a bracket on the bottom, and this was upside down when I found it, so it had that broken. But as, as you can see, the black, the back of the signal is blue, and the front is yellow, which I just think is a pretty cool looking paint job. And I live in San Diego, or one of the suburbs in San Diego, of San Diego. And in downtown San Diego, if you go on Google Maps, you'll see some of the signals are similar to this. They have black instead of yellow, part of the coat in the front, and then the back sometimes will be blue. Somewhat similar to this. Makes this signal special to me also is because this is a doghouse, the first doghouse in my collection. And I've always loved doghouse signals, even though they're sadly getting replaced with left turn arrows in my area. And this module here has a few LEDs going out in it. But I think it just adds character to the signal. As you can see, there's a bunch of powder coat chipping off. Just gonna have to clean this a little bit more. It's pretty dirty. And one thing that you did have to watch out for at Love's is that there was a wasp nest inside the hangar. And uh, yeah, that was a little tricky trying to get that out. And there was wasps there, but other than that, there's not much to worry about. Many of the signals do have some dents in the visors of some sort. But other than that, the signals are in pretty good condition. Like I said, the dents in the visors and powder coat chipping. But other than that, these signals are pretty nice. 
and I think I got my money's worth out of uh, out of uh, what I paid for. This signal here, a doghouse will go for $120, while a three section will go for 80, I believe. As I said, save up your money if you guys want some of these. If you don't have the money already. If you're gonna go to Lev's, you gotta buy some signals. Here are the backs of the signals. You can see that one's blue. And you can see part of the yellow door right there. There's some power clips up in. But there's the, the hole where that would stick into there. And there's the screw where it would get tightened and then uh, it would be staying right there. And there's the back of the doghouse. There's the core. Don't mind the red scratches of the paint. And the paint on the back. That was just from moving that signal. And then the, there's the power clip shipping on the back. Thing. If you get a signal from Lev's, you have to take it apart. That little door might not open for you because the screws won't move. So it's a pain in the butt to rewire this thing, let me tell you. So, if you have to take it apart, make sure you can open up this little latch right here. Alright, here's I would like to say thanks for watching if you uh, watched this far and uh, but I also like to mention I need to get a sequencer for the signal and I'll probably tie it in with that one and they'll be together hanging or some somewhere we'll see what happens but like I said shout out to Sebastian 0113 I'll leave um, a link to the channel in the description as well as a link to um, the Google Maps location of um, Love's Pawn Shop. And I hope everybody has a good weekend.